what's bushy, shady, and provides nourishment for people and insects. We're gonna check out trees and shrubs today on Green Thumb. So we're standing at Red Ferns right now, and what is behind us? Uh, this is our fruit tree section. Uh, currently, this is our, our apple trees here. Are trees and shrubs really popular for a specific season, or are they good for all year round planting? Uh, good for all year round planting if you've got, you know, uh, the correct stuff for it, irrigation, somebody there constantly taking care of it. Uh, but fruit trees in particular, great for uh, your springtime before they really leaf out and get going, sap up on them. To get a, a great yield on them, uh, you're gonna need full sun. For putting these in the ground for somebody who's just first starting out, particularly for like Eastern North Carolina, we have sandy soil. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna need to know what kind of soil consistency you have. So we got trees. Are there any other types of trees besides fruit trees that you would suggest people plant in their yard? Uh, if you're looking for shade, uh, your maple trees, uh, Weeping willows, if you're not near any kind of uh, septic system or concrete, those are great. And so we can't talk about trees without talking about shrubs because it's curb appeal. They you know, can really add some dynamics to your yard, yep. add some privacy, and just add some fun colors. So what type of shrubs would you suggest? Shrubbery for this time of year, I would go with like your flowering perennials like uh, Mexican sage, lantana. This will be a uh, Vitex family, sage. This is Mexican sage. Uh, this is perfect for anybody who wants some seasonal color uh, that'll get uh, a good size. So right now they're not blooming, but when they do, what can people expect? A uh, little like puff balls of purple and white, uh, very pretty and kind of out of the ordinary. You don't, you don't see a lot of these anymore. So are these good for pollinators too, or is it more so like for the front of the house, back of the house? Very much so. I mean, uh, curve appeal, like I said, front of the house, but the, uh, the honeybees, uh, trailer bees, all insects, butterflies, butterflies love these. Yeah. And they'll, they'll swarm them. So you can attract the monarchs oh, in the yeah. yard. Mm -hmm. That's perfect. Sure. So these are our wax myrtles, native to North Carolina. Um, these are good for low swampy areas or um, full sun. I see people use these for privacy. So what bush is right behind us? Uh, this is lantana. This is our good fall color and offers a lot of uh, like sensual piece to the, the front of your house. Uh, good curve appeal and takes the heat super well. This is your cranraz. These max out at about three foot. These are a perennial shrub, so they're deciduous. They're gonna drop their leaves in the winter time and then come back out late April. And for the fall, would you say butterfly bushes are better suited for planting in springtime so that they fully bloom by the time fall arrives? If you want more longevity out of them, yeah. Make sure to come back every Tuesday as we dig into all the tips and tricks for planting and gardening on Green Thumb.